Hi everyone! In this video, I want to show you how to make a bacterial smear from a broth culture as well as from a plate that has bacteria growing on it. The first thing you should do is label your slide. You'll need to identify the top and bottom of your slide. The top part feels rough. When labeling, use a pencil, not a permanent marker. Permanent marker can wash off during any staining procedures. When preparing a smear from a broth culture, it's easy to lose your culture on the slide. It helps if you use a wax pencil and draw a circle around where you will actually place your culture. This will help you when you go to look at your culture under the microscope. Now we need to take the broth culture of bacteria and put it onto the slide. To do that, we will use a metal loop. The first thing you need to do is sterilize the metal loop using your flame from your Bunsen burner. It's really important that you flame the entire loop from the top to the bottom until it's red hot. The next thing we need to do is take some of the liquid culture out of the test tube and put it on the slide. Mix up the culture first by finger vortexing it or flicking it with your finger. Next, remove the lid and pass the mouth of the tube through the flame. This heats up the top of the tube, creating a convection of air, decreasing the likelihood of your culture becoming contaminated from other airborne organisms. Anytime you open or close a glass container with bacteria in it, whether it is a test tube, flask, or bottle, you always want to flame the mouth. This is common practice in microbiology. When you scoop up the bacteria from the broth culture, you may hear a sizzle from the hot loop coming into contact with the broth. Don't worry, that's normal. Once you have the culture on your loop, you can apply it to the circle you drew on your microscope slide. Because bacterial broths tend to be dilute, when preparing a slide from a broth culture, usually two, three, or more loopfuls of bacteria are used. Each time, using aseptic technique, flaming your loop and the mouth of the tube while collecting the culture. Here you can see the culture being applied to the middle of the wax circle on the slide. Coordinating the sterilization of the loop, removal of the culture cap, and flaming the mouth of the tube will feel awkward at first, but with a little practice, you will get used to it. When you are done adding your culture to the slide, make sure you sterilize your loop before putting it away. Test tube racks make a great tool for storing your loop while working at the bench. This slide is now ready to be heat fixed. We'll show you how to do that in just a minute. First, I want to show you how to prepare a slide using bacteria that have been grown on a plate. When making this type of smear, you need to add a drop of water to your slide. You can do that using your loop and the flow of water from a tap, as is shown here, or you can use water from a water bottle. Notice the sterilization of the loop before and after every use. Next, use your loop to pick up a colony of bacteria from the plate. These plates are blood agar plates, hence the red color. The little lines and dots on the plate are the bacteria. Before picking up a colony, it's common practice to touch your hot loop in the media on the side where no bacteria are growing. This serves to cool the loop so you don't cook the bacteria. It also makes a satisfying sizzling sound. Once you have your colony picked up, mix it with the loop full of water that is already on the slide. Notice, unlike when preparing a smear from a broth, there is no need to draw a circle on the slide. Bacteria from a plate are much more concentrated compared to a broth culture, and you can easily see the milky smear without any extra markings required. We have our two smears now, one from the broth culture and one from the plate culture. We've allowed them to dry, and they need to be heat fixed. Heat fixing serves to kill any viable bacteria on the slide, as well as make them stick to the slide so they don't wash off during any staining procedures. The heat fixing process is very simple. Hold your slide with a pair of forceps and gently pass it through the flame three times. Do not hold it in the flame as this will cook the bacteria and we won't be able to see them under the microscope. You can carefully do a check using your hand to make sure the slide does not get too hot. Now your slides are ready for staining.